All right, it's a beautiful fall day in the Normandy Hotel. I got the French doors with the Julianne balcony. Feeling very fresh on this fine episode of Let's See with Leslie Ola BC. Welcome to another episode of Let's See with Leslie Ola BC. That's me. Let's get right into it. Let's talk comedy. So, if you haven't watched Shit's Creek, go ahead and get it. It's funny as hell, but it's kind of like a witty, dry kind of humor. So if you're into that kind of thing, then definitely you will like it. It originally aired on Pop, but now is available six final seasons on Netflix. Um, it's starring Eugene Levi. You know him from American Pie. And his son is actually starring with him, and they co-wrote the series together. Now that's keeping it in the family. They say... After a wealthy family loses its entire fortune, it must fight to rebuild itself from a single property in a small town that they originally bought as a joke. And it was called Shit's Creek, but it's spelled S-C-H-I-T-T -T apostrophe S, of course. But the characters are exaggerated, they're comical, you know, there's some two characters that are over the top and there's some characters that are very, very dry and plain, and so when they bring them together, it's just, it's comedy magic. Sour Patch Kids and Cherry Cola Worthy. On to the next one. Let's get a little darker. You know, Christina Applegate, you know, Kelly Bundy from Married with Children. Well, she has another series. First of all, this lady never stops working. My whole family used to watch Married with Children. I remember my father walking around, stopping, putting his hands in his pants, and saying, let's rock like Al Bundy for years show never gets old so after you catch up on old reruns of Married with Children carry yourself over to Netflix for original pro programming called Dead to Me they say a widow still grieving from her husband's death and an optimistic woman with a terrible secret form a powerful friendship What's juicy about this program is that you think everything is going in one way and then they hit you with something else. You think something is true, then you find out it might not be true. You think something is a total, complete lie, but it just actually surprises you and turns out true. So they keep you on your feet. I watch it. I do watch it. I am watching it. Go to Netflix. Quality programming, I toast thee. Okay, let's talk sneaks. Sneakerheads, another Netflix programming. You know, Netflix is producing a lot of programs, and all programming is not created equal. So first off, I love, love, love Alan Maldonado. This man is very talented. He's good looking. He's in shape. I think he's like got some kind of samurai warrior training last time I looked at his Instagram. He's always pushing himself. He's funny. He's a writer. He's written on Survivor's Remorse, uh, The Last OG. Uh, he's been on Blackish and several other shows. I'm not going to run down his whole resume. However, I love Alan Maldonado. But this show. Alan is carrying the whole show. The actors are not that great. The story, the characters are not that believable. While they do maintain good conflict to keep the show moving along, some of the situations just get a little bit redundant. It's not so much that the culture and the story that they're telling you, the lengths with which they go to get different sneakers, is far-fetched. That's not it. But it's the main actors, it's the trio and the supporting uh, characters that you just don't believe them. So it feels like I'm sitting in the room with the writers as they're tossing one-liners and situations back and forth. You know, like, well, what if we have them do this? What if we have them do that? That's how it feels when you're actually watching the episode. So, you know, we can't win them all. However, perhaps if they get another season, it'll get better. Plenty of shows started off just so-so and got better as they went on. Next! Alright, let's talk podcasts. 
million dollars worth of game. Mit, 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 mit. I hate when Wallow267 does that. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But at least he's smart. And that's one of the reasons why I like this podcast. Because he definitely knows about branding. They know about selling. Making good deals for yourself. And getting your content. Getting sponsorships. And they give you good tips. So just on the strength of that, I really like this podcast. Uh, now, y'all probably been hip to Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast for a long time. Me, I just came across Gilly the Kid's Instagram on my long lady Instagram account last year. You know, he would drop gems, give advice. It was funny. It was true. He was entertaining. After a while, though, sometimes I would go, and this is back before they changed live, and you could just sit there on live forever. And... I don't want to sit and watch you just roll, 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 roll blunts and smoke. Like, that's boring. So, I stopped watching so much. Then, later I realized, okay, they have a podcast. Then it took me even longer to actually get to watch it. And I mean, like, two months ago, I finally got around to watching it. And I like it. So, you got Gilly the Kid, Gilly the King, and Wallow267. The number one podcast, so says iTunes podcast ratings, and I think they're everywhere. So I don't know, look it up, but they're on YouTube and they're on iTunes at least. Check it out. Parental advisory, explicit content. Sour Patch Kids and Cherry Cola Worthy. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Let's See with Leslie Olabisi.